Hello everyone, my name is Robert with Mod Science, modscience.net, Facebook Mod Science. Um, I'm here today bringing you the, uh, it's a moment I've been waiting for for quite some time, a unboxing of the brand new Radeon Vega Frontier Edition by our dear friends at AMD. Um, this is strictly going to be an unboxing video. I probably will get you some other uh, footage of the card installed in my actual computer, which is a pretty cool computer. It's a Ryzen 7 build, 1700X, on a Corsair Crosshair, uh, Corsair, on a um, Asus Crosshair 6 Hero board, overclocked, of course. <clears throat> um, so this is the Vega Frontier Edition. This is the air-cooled edition. I pre-ordered it off of Newegg for $999.99. And I am actually also going to get an RX Veda, a Vega series card, whenever they come out. This one, you know, I I just wanted a damn Vega card. I didn't care. I just wanted to buy one because I, I, I'm kind of long overdue for an upgrade on a video card. But anyway, it came today from Newegg in a nice black box. We've got the Radian Vega Frontier Edition, Explore, Create, Pioneer. And let's get you some footage of the back here. And not much to disclose on that thing, just kind of a one-year limited warranty, uh, explore, create, pioneer, etc., etc., etc. Okay, let's go ahead and open the box. And again, it's a very basic packaging by MD. And I'm kind of working with very limited space here, so I have to pardon all this. fit rather rather snug inside of this box I'll tell you anyway there's that and let's go ahead and find it is uh, pretty neat okay here we go all right ladies and gentlemen here is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're greeted with a our Radeon Vega Frontier Edition box uh, manual. Excuse me. Pretty standard stuff here. Pictures of the product itself. Pretty neat little little thing, little package there. And then of course some warranty card information. Okay, continuing on, I ran out of space, how embarrassing, but anyway, um, so I pulled out the warranty written registration cards and boom, now we have the actual card itself in all its glory. And uh, this is not my initial reaction, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna react everything and uh, Hopefully make it work out. So that's it. It's a beautiful card. Um, we've got uh, a, um, a cable inside of the package along with it. It looks like this is a display display um, display port, a DVI to display port adapter here. Um, pretty cool. And then of course the card itself and all its glory here. The Vega Frontier Edition. Very intriguing. And a static bag, anti-static bag. Get this thing taken out of here for you. It's a pretty hefty card. I would say maybe it weighs maybe one, maybe one and a half pound. I don't know, <laughs> maybe a pound or so, who knows? Maybe a little bit more, but uh, uh, pretty, pretty damn sleek looking. Um, brushed metal panel to look to it. Uh, or of course, the infamous Vega logo. And then of course, a Pretty neat little reference fan. Looks like the um, kind of build for the uh, the reference 480 players to GPUs. And then uh, the Radeon logo or the R bulb or R LED that'll show up. Two 8 pin connectors from what it looks like. We've got our Radeon um, logo there. And then, of course, it's a blower type thing. So we've got uh, three display ports, an HDMI. And then, of course, the PCI Express connection. And then pin number, all that good stuff there. Back of the card, pretty neat looking. And then we've got the Vega logo here, too. 
and uh, I would say it's probably about 10 and a half to about 11 inches. I'll get you more exact um, details about the card's length, but um, yeah, very, very good looking card, right? So, get you some better lighting, and uh, anyway. So I'm pretty excited about this card. I've been waiting for quite some time to upgrade my GPU. Um, I had a card from 2009. I just kind of fell out of the, the enthusiast thing, but recently got back into it. So I'm currently building two Ryzen machines. I'm heavily invested in AMD stock, probably not as much as some people, but still, I have a fair, fairly decent amount of shares, um, over 10,000. and. Um, you know, I love AMD, so I've been following them for quite some time, ever since I was a kid. I'm, I'm Team Red. I'm all about it. Um, I like Intel and, and NVIDIA products, sure, but I don't know. I, I've always been an AMD guy, so, I mean, I've owned Intel and, and named NVIDIA products to have a, a GP, an NVIDIA GPU and the other, uh, other, other build. But anyway, uh, this guy is going to go into um, a Ryzen 1700X build uh, on a Thermaltake P3 case, custom looped. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep this reference um, um, cooler on this thing. I'm probably going to go with uh, custom water cooling uh, by EK, most likely, and uh, overclock this thing. I may actually put it into my Ryzen 5 build, and then inst uh, I'm also going to get the RX Vega, and I'm going to install that into um, one of the two machines. I'll figure it out, but um, anyway, just wanted to kind of give you a, a look at the new card. And not much else in the package itself, package itself. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys viewing this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know. Uh, again, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is a new um, thing I'm doing as kind of a hobby. Uh, Mod Science on Facebook. Uh, the, the, the page is very much under construction. ModScience.net also very much under construction, but there'll be stuff. It's going to be. Um, more custom looping, enthusiast hardware, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, uh, just normal nerd shit. But anyway, thanks again for checking out the video. And again, like and subscribe. Thanks.